Oh, okay. In the meantime. <laughs> How are you feeling today? Yeah. Now I want you to think about that for a second. You get that question a lot. It's kind of like a subconscious question. But have you thought about it? How are you really feeling today? It's better. Is there pain? For some? What is that like to you? What does that mean to you? We, we toss the word love around a lot. We toss the word justice around a lot. In fact, when we phrase campaign videos and when we phrase any kind of story, whether I'm making a film or you're doing something, we're always trying to work on the themes of justice and love and peace and joy. But the question is, what does that really mean to you? Because no matter what your core values are, no matter what my core values are, if we cannot have the depth of unity in the meaning of those words, uh, we, we're not on the same page. And that's real. Is Howard here? All right. I want you to pay attention for the next couple minutes. Turn off your subconscious for a second and be a little bit more conscious. I bleed emotion like often sterling on the concrete. Regardless of your validation, you will hear me speak. I pour sadness like Philando Castillo's girlfriend's tears, and it hurts even more knowing that we still continue to live in fear. I am empty like the mothers after losing their sons due to unjust murder. I am no sheep, so do not try to lead me as if you are a herder. I am afraid of losing everything like the dreamers. You see immigrants, I see achievers. I am! In, I am in pieces, like the families after losing a loved one to a murderous cop. You oblige for the system without a second thought. I, I am. am! Lost, like Miss Rogers after losing her 22-year-old baby boy. Moments like those make you forget what it's like to feel real joy. I am! Driven to make a change like Gandhi. And I will to the day I die because this cause is beyond me. I see her twice a week, 3 to 4.30. Before they allow me into the building, I sign into the visitor sheet. They ask me the relationship to whom I've come to see, I leave it blank. I don't know what to put. Do I put she is the woman that left me when I was three, or do I put she is the woman that killed my father? I still remember what happened like it was yesterday. I remember them yelling and yelling, my father telling her I should go back to my room. She shouldn't have to see us like this. I didn't want to go back to my room. I just had a bad dream that the monsters were out to get me. I wanted to sleep in the bed with them, and they just kept yelling and yelling. My mother yelled, turn around. So I did. I heard a loud noise, like the sound a bumper makes when you get into a fender bender on the way to a supermarket, and I smelled something burning, like a candle just went out. But it was different because my father was laying on the floor in a pool of red. Once I spilled red juice on the carpet and mommy told me I had to clean it up right away because we didn't want it to leave a stain. So I asked mommy, is daddy gonna clean up the juice he spilled because we don't want it to leave a stain. She replied in a calm and steady voice saying, no darling, I'll clean it up. She took me back to my room, tucked me in and said goodnight, sleep tight. When I woke up in the morning, the stain was still there but faded away, sort of like my memory of what happened last night. 
I am not sure of what I saw anymore, but the only thing I was sure of is that my father was gone. These men would come by the house to see mommy and I would have to go play in the backyard. When they come, they would wear these matching black outfits with these shiny belts that would hold things. And they would always have stickers with something called a district number on it. I didn't understand what it meant. Sometimes I would match with other girls in my class. We didn't plan it, it happened by accident, so we laughed. So when I saw them, I laughed. Until one day they came and mommy went with them. My grandmother tries to explain to me that my mother going to jail, my mother going to jail is justice for my father, but I don't see it that way. All I see is that my mother and father left me when I was three. But what is justice? Is it a mother and father leaving their only child? If so, I don't want this seven letter word, take it back and bring me back my parents. Everyone tries to explain to me that justice isn't good or bad, it isn't always white or black, that sometimes you have to lose a piece of yourself to get justice for what you believe in, but I still don't understand what is justice. So my grandmother has been taking me to see her, but I don't call her mom, so I leave it blank. a protest against police brutality about disrespecting the flag, then you're part of the problem. They say that we live in the land of the free, but there's the conundrum, forcing American brothers and sisters to crawl under rocks, plugging their ears for the next three years while the language of hatred and fear rewrites the news. Come see Civil War, the sequel now showing in theaters near you. Did we go back in time, or is the progress we've made as a nation stuck on rewind? All we can ask is why and watch from behind the glass panes of our safe homes in the comfort of our warm beds as the divides between neighbors grows and grows and Jim Crow is resurrected from the dead wounding immigrants to see if they bleed red white and blue and then turning around with flashy smiles and false claims with no follow-through they place predators on pedestals and leave the wounded to rot no child left behind have we forgotten America is a nation of immigrants you can't pick and choose who you want to succeed and who deserves to lose and who is left to turn to when the protectors are turning into some of the biggest killers. It's about time we stop seeing the world through tinted glasses and filters. We are. I'm like, damn, I need some justice. The government's so corrupt, I can't even trust it. Ever since my daddy left me, I've been really lovesick. Every kid deserves a father, that's what I call justice. It just is reality, strikes like a casualty. Judges don't serve justice, neither does your majesty. Why well, I gotta follow all these rules? I know it feels right. This isn't law and order SUV, this is real life. Where black men get killed for wearing hoodies In a jungle like a Boogie I need justice like Judge Judy This ain't a toy story, they shootin' like Call of Duty Shootouts, drive-bys, I done seen all that Tried to get a job at McDonald's, they didn't call back Justice is moving forward even when you wanna fall back Justice is equality, equalness for all I see Justice is about fairness, getting what we deserve And getting what we need I need justice like the Justice League Rosa Parks stood her ground on that bus so I could take a seat can't take the heat, then get out the kitchen. We looking for justice like when Kanika Jenkins' body went missing. Suspicions, they found her in the freezer, then edited the videos acting like we didn't see her. We need a leader. So I'm screaming to the president like, damn, I need some justice. Someone told me that it is good to ask questions. So today, we have one question. 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 What is justice? Is it just? Or it just is? Is it a she, a he? They, I, 
you, I, or it. What pronoun does justice answer to? See, I'm going insane and I can't tell the difference anymore. I've been looking in the mirror for days and I can't help but notice that I'm not here anymore. Because now I speak and I'm yelling. And when I touch, I'm grabbing. And when I look, I'm staring. My mind has become an amusement park filled with wild things, rusty roller coasters, gross ghost trains, still venoms with no brakes, hessen, corkscrew screwing, power towering, towering yet. I'm afraid of heights. Holding on to this one question. What is Holding on to this one question. What is I tried to educate myself and all I found was how they tried to eradicate myself. Taught me how to hate myself, medicate myself. And now all I'm left with is alone, so I'm left to off myself. But I'm holding on to this one question. What is justice? So long we have grown accustomed to the familiar sounds of sirens, the bang from Judge Gavels, humans in robes, uniforms, suits and such attempting to arrest, correct, propagate and defend laws up to the lawyer's interpretation and the jury's discretion. So long we have grown accustomed to these brick buildings called courts and tons of white walls called prisons and a bunch of green envelopes called tickets and we now all call that the justice system. Where is the justice in the system? Is it in Tulsa? Is it in Ferguson? Is it in St. Paul? Is it in Duluth, Minnesota? Is it in Walla County? Is it in Charleston? Is it in Sanford, Florida? Or is it in Staten Island? Teach me, teacher. Give me an example of justice so I can understand. Is it Trayvon Michael Brown, Eric Gardner, Sandra Blaine, Khalif Browner, Terrence Crutcher, Philando Castle, all the women standing with a sword and a skill and a blindfold? Question. What is justice? Question. What is justice? Is it just ice frozen like Kendra? Is it the gaps of air from a 200 pound black man screaming, I can't breathe? I can't breathe. I can't breathe. Did the flag go down for Tamir Rice? We're taking a knee because we're crippled by fear. Here's my question. What is justice? Compassion? Giving me a real shot? I mean, for real. Giving me a real shot? Giving her a real shot? Giving your kids a real shot? Is it, is, it, is it still political to you? Is it love for me? And not just my culture, or my talents, or my work, or my poems? Do you really love me? Or you just want to talk like me, and walk like me? and sing like me, and rap like me, and speak like me. Is it giving me some space to breathe? Is it letting me take a moment to be silent without expecting me to speak? Is it you shutting up for just one second so I'm not drowned out by the white noise? Is it finding my murderer 
vindicating my innocence? Or is it your justice just here to justify my demise? Is your justice isn't free? If your justice isn't free, then damn sure not for me. It wasn't Sandra Blaine's blogs we heard. It was the police logs you sold. It wasn't Caliph's stand you exemplified. It was Caliph's fall you simplified. The vengeance of our blood spilled over the land will remain the great mystery of our time and no history of the justice system has ever told what will happen when justice revealed itself to us. Question. Question. Matthew 12, 36. For by my words you will be justified and by my words you will be condemned. We are. I see you. But right now, all I see are bright lights. I tremble as sirens get closer. I am haunted. Haunted and hunted. Haunted by the themes which plague my very existence. Hunted by those who plague my very existence. Round and round it goes. A few years back it was his brother. The flesh of my flesh lay here on concrete, lifeless after screaming, don't shoot me. The flesh of my flesh did nothing wrong except being born of this flesh. Holding what's left of my boy, my boy who never looked so peaceful. I smile while tears rush down my cheeks, my boy's at peace. Away from the pain, away from the hate. Dear brother, I see you. You may not believe me when I say that we are one. As I stand before you helplessly and you hold tightly to your gun. Dear sister, I see you. You may think that we are rivals, but we are none. And our caring nature tells us that we are simply one. I am haunted. I awake in the night and I'm filled with fear. I turn to my partner as his body lay peacefully only to wake with agitation as this society gnaws on his humanity broken. I think of my unborn children, my body frozen, my world still, then I remember this world is still for no one. Round and round it goes in circular motions, repeating, reciting, reminding, restoring. I wake in the morning and I place on my mask, I help I place on my mask to help navigate our society. I am fearless, I am strong, I am capable. Behind that, I am afraid. I want peace, I want love, I want unity. Dear brother, I see you. You may not believe me when I say that we are one. As I stand before you helplessly and you hold tightly to your gun. Dear sister, I see you. You may think that we are rivals but we are none and our caring nature tells us that we are simply one you are haunted you too are plagued by you are plagued by historical trauma but you are comfortable so to feel sane you avoid your inner drama you wake in a world which tells you you are right while at the same time, reality tells you that you are wrong. You have become subjects to a world preying on souls. For a second you may have thought of the ills, weighing the size of right and wrong. To be right is to continue, to be stagnant, to carry on. To be wrong is to look inward, to acknowledge, to hurt, to see destruction. To be wrong takes work. To be wrong means that your hands are drenched with blood. The world 
that you see is filled with corpses. Your wealth is undeserved. Your reality is false. Your identity, your identity is at stake. Just in time to save yourself from chaos, then you are reminded that this world is still for no one, not even you. So round and round you go in circular motions, repeating, reciting, rewinding, reinforcing. Sometimes I wonder if you see me, if, if you see, if you see you, if you see how controlled you are. You think you control me, but my mind is free. Dear brother, I see you. You may not believe me when I say that we are one. As I stand before you helplessly and you hold tightly to your gun. Dear sister, I see you. You may think that we are rivals, but we are none. And our caring nature tells us that we are simply one.